In this video, we're going to use the three steps to sketch method for advanced cosine graphs. And we're gonna start out with a pretty lightweight shifted cosine graph, um, just a simple phase shift or horizontal shift. We're going to graph y equals cosine of x minus pi over two. All right, so that x minus should really clue you in. You have a phase shift. You should be using the method for shifted graphs. All right, here's our template on the left and our equation and grid on the right. All right, you should be able to see this is a graph that has a shift, like we said. We have a cosine bx minus c plus d. Okay, we don't have a lot going on here except for that phase shift, um, but it is important to note we should be considering this generic template um, when we are analyzing. All right, so we don't need to factor out B because B is just one. Um, so we can jump in with step one. Let's find our essentials. Um, we'll first start by looking at what will get us our base graph for our base pattern in step two. Okay, A is an understood one. It's the coefficient in front of cosine. So we know we'll have an amplitude of one. Okay, distance from midline to max or min. Our B is also an understood one. So remember, B tells us how many cycles should happen between 0 and 2 pi, and it also helps us find the period. In this case, it's very simple. Period is 2 pi over B, so the period is 2 pi. Okay, now let's go ahead and find our scale labels here. Um, remember, with our three steps to sketch method, we do this very intentionally. We want to take our period and divide by 4, and we'll use that to label our horizontal tick marks. So period, 2 pi divided by 4, it's 2 pi over 4 or pi over 2. And that's how we'll label our horizontal tick marks. Vertically, we'll use 1. You can look to A to guide you, or 1 will typically work. Okay, so let's go ahead and label here. We have pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, which reduces 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, which reduces 5 pi over 2. Okay, and let's do the same on the negative side. Same values, just negative. All right. And let's label our vertical axis as well. So counting by one, nice and easy. All right. So we've got our whole setup for our base graph. And now we can do our sort of second part of step one. Let's take care of analyzing our shifts. Okay, so we know C over B is going to be our phase shift, our horizontal shift. Um, and in this case, we didn't have to do any adjustment. That's going to be this right here because pi over 2 is C, B is an understood 1. Okay, so we are going to be shifting our graph right by pi over 2. Okay, um, so we'll have that base pattern from step 2 and we'll apply this shift in step 3. Okay, and you see that there's an understood plus zero for D. We don't have a vertical shift here, so we aren't going to have to move in that manner. All right, so we've done all this analysis. We're ready to move into step two, plot the base pattern. And now we notice that this cosine is not reflected, so we can use the base pattern max, zero, min, zero. Okay, and we're gonna plot this lightly because we know we're going to shift it in step three. Okay, but we plot our first point, our max, for the base pattern, which will happen on the y-axis, and A is one, so we'll put a light point at zero, one. Our next point will be at the horizontal tick mark, the first horizontal tick mark, pi over two. Okay. Your minimum will be at your second tick mark with an opposite value, A, y-coordinate, and you'll have another zero at three pi over two. And I'll put one more point, a repeat starts at two pi with another maximum, and that'll just help us close in our graph. Okay, so this is our base pattern. Hopefully you see if you were to sketch in, this would be a cosine curve, um, and it's just y equals cosine x actually. Um, but that's not what we want here. We want it to be shifted right by pi over two. Okay, so now we're ready for step three where we can actually tackle this shift. 
For each of your green intermediate points from your base pattern in step two, you'll move right pi over two. If you had had a vertical shift, a D, you could do that in the same step. Okay, but for us, we're just going to take each of these green points, starting with the one at the Y intercept, and we'll move right pi over two, which in this case happens to be one grid unit. Okay, and we'll make that a large point because we know that will finish out our graph. Okay, so each of your green points, we're just going to shift right by pi over two. And then we can sketch in our cosine curve. Okay, so basically we took the parent graph y equals cosine x and we shifted it to the right by pi over two. This is a very straightforward shift um, and you probably could accomplish this without even going through this whole method if you just know what the parent graph looks like. Um, but this is a good example to make sure we really understand all of the pieces in this method and how to put them into place. Okay, so let's do one repeat of a cycle. So remember, you just need to move four tick marks to the left from where your starting point of the purple cycle is. So one, two, three, four. So we'll have a maximum at negative three pi over two, a zero at negative pi, a minimum at negative pi over two, a zero at the origin, and then you'll connect in. Okay. And you have another cycle of this graph. Um, one interesting thing to look at, remember B told us how many cycles should happen between zero and two pi. And even though they're different cycles, part or parts of different cycles from how we graphed it, you can see that a full cycle, all of the parts that you need, all of the key pieces in the pattern, two zeros, a max, and a min, um, you have one cycle happening between zero and two pi. Um, another interesting note, this actually looks a lot, or it is the graph of y equals sine x. And I won't get into all of that here, but sine and cosine have an interesting relationship. They're co-functions, and there are a lot of things you can do to prove that. Um, a little more complex than we're going to get into here, um, but something that's really interesting to check out all the same. All right, so this was the three steps to sketch method for shifted cosine graphs. Um, check out the video description if you want links to other examples of cosine graphs um, or worked examples of other trig functions.